Lifeboats, helicopters and rescue teams working with the French and British navies responded to the incident, which took place as immigration to Great Britain organised by people trafficking criminal gangs has become a priority issue for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's government. Mr Speaker, I'm sure the whole House will share my sorrow at the capsizing of a small boat in the Channel in the early hours of this morning and the tragic loss of human life. Our hearts go out to all those affected and our tributes to those involved in the extensive rescue operation. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I join the Prime Minister? Our prayers go out to those who capsized in the freezing waters of the Channel last night. It's a reminder that the criminal gangs running those routes put the lives of the desperate at risk and profit from their misery. They must be broken up and brought to justice. LBC Radio reported that 43 people had been rescued. A Reuters journalist saw one body bag being removed from a vessel at the lifeboat station in the port of Dover. The incident occurred just over a year after 27 people died while attempting to cross the sea in an inflatable dinghy in November 2021, in what was the worst recorded accident of its kind in the Channel. Temperatures have plunged across the United Kingdom in the last week, bringing snow to parts of the country. The temperature was logged at 2 degrees Celsius in a nearby town on Wednesday morning. Despite the freezing temperatures, more than 500 migrants have made the perilous journey in small boats since the weekend alone, with the people traffickers who organized the crossings taking advantage of low winds and calm seas. Earlier today, a local resident on the coast of France said she witnessed boats overflowing with migrants leaving in the morning. Fabiola said she saw the dinghies with children on board leave around 8 a.m. in the morning. It is unclear whether they made it to safety. She was speaking after news that a small boat loaded with migrants heading for for British shores from France had capsized in the freezing waters of the English Channel. This morning on my way to go shrimping, I saw two dinghies, which were unfortunately overflowing with migrants, with children. Really, it's really sad. I hope they will arrive safely because what hurts my heart the most is the babies, the children. It's really miserable and it happens every day. Honestly, it's really sad.